Hello, hello! Yes, I look like a complete prat, but I'm using this video to show you a few products. So, um, I thought we are actually going to be relaunching our Neil Jard makeup range pretty soon, and I'm really, really excited about that. So we are actually selling off our makeup. A lot of it's 50% off well, while stocks last, so maybe be still some on for a couple of days. But I thought I would just do a little um, tutorial. As such, I'm no makeup artist, so be patient with me. This might be rubbish, but um, I thought I would have a go, show you some products, be nice. I'm very new to this, so um, yeah. First of all, I'm gonna apply some Soothing Star Floor Daily Moisturizer. Neil's Yard do a lot of different um, ranges for different skin different skin conditions. Mine is uh, pretty sensitive and hyper hypersensitive, I would say, especially at this time of year when it's cold. I get prone to breakouts, so it's nice to get something that doesn't have any chemicals in it. Is uh, so it's paraben free, not tested on animals, of course, and um, no synthetic oils or anything in it. Um, and eco-friendly everything is pretty much top-notch if i do say so myself and um yeah so i'm gonna apply this all over they do a range for acne prone skin and uh, dry skin aging skin whatever you your needs are and require and um, i find that my skin sometimes doesn't tolerate essential oils that well so that's why i'm using the star floor daily moisture one which doesn't contain any essential oils in it so I have no allergic reaction to it which is rare with skin um, products so I'm unsure what they're going to be relaunching in the new range coming soon but um, they do a mineral foundation at the moment which is what I am going to apply with using you can either use a kabuki brush or um, I'm going to use this stippling brush here if you've ever seen one it's like a flat top um, and it gives sort of a light natural coverage so it comes like this if you've ever had mineral makeup you tip a bit into the into the pot and then you get your brush you dip it in like that and you tap it off so yeah so you have some on and then you just work it into your skin like so um, I find that um, I went up for a colour swatch in mine because I find them quite light so I went up a level but you kind of just work it into your skin and you can build it up whatever sort of um, effect you want you know obviously the less you want I find during the week um, when I'm at work I tend to use um, not very much of it. I don't have time really. When you've got two young kids, you don't really have time to be putting a full Estee Lauder makeup on you. <laughs> Nor can a lot of us afford to be doing a full face of Estee Lauder either because it's very expensive and not as friendly for the environment, I do believe. But um, yeah, so you just keep working it into the skin. You can see it's given me a nice actual glow. Obviously, if you're going out at night, you would maybe use a bit more. Nice and holiday when you don't want to be clogging your skin up and you're wearing holiday in the sun and you've you know your sun cream on. The way um a lot of people are um scared by powder foundations because they feel that it will be very dry and um leave dry patches on their skin that's not the case I have dry skin this absorbs into it and absorbs the oils of your skin and works with it so yeah pretty much gives you a lovely natural finish as you can see so it's sort of like a almost like gives you a bronzy look without being over the top then I am going to show you or I'll do a bit of eye makeup. This is quite a natural colour. This is our mineral pressed eyeshadow in oat. And I will use one of my eyeshadow brushes out. Okay, so 
this is the package at the moment as I say it's going to be changing I don't know in what way direction but that's the colour there so just put a bit all over this is quite a natural natural look so for during the week and um, you can see you can get darker colours there's um I think there's eight or ten in the range eight maybe of different colours depending on what you're looking for this sort of gives you a nice pinky sort of tone and again you know if you've sensitive skin or allergies like me there's very little sometimes you can put near your eyes without irritating them but this isn't one of them so just put that all over the eye um, you could apply a darker shadow to your crease but I'm just gonna leave it like that and put a wee bit underneath okay then we have the mascara now this is our um, lengthening mascara here and um, it is yeah it does give you length you'll see now when I put this on the difference it makes um, I really love the packaging there and clinically proven to lengthen curl with a thickening tetrapeptide or organic argan oil and antioxidant white tea Show you. you see the length already with just one coat. Sorry for blinding you with my face very up close here, but um, I just wanted to show you the difference in my lashes. Yeah, so you can see there, top and bottom lashes, we have a good difference there. So that's just with one coat. And then last but not least we have our lip gloss, which is, it smells amazing, it has orange oil in it with organic orange oil, antioxidant white tea and to moisturise, smooth and protect. So no nasties in it. So if you suffer from dry skin during the winter and crack lips, it does. It is quite nice. And um, no irritants in it. It smells good enough to eat. Okay, so that is the finished look. We also do blushers, bronzers eyeliners and everything um, but I haven't ordered those because I'm waiting for the new new season to come in and the new products they could be similar to this so I just wanted to show you that's the kind of effect you can get from the makeup and I will put the link down below to the sale items you may be able to pick those up on the sale at the moment um, some of them are 50% off which is a great deal so um, if you like this video please comment below and I'll maybe do another like a skincare tutorial if you're interested and um, yeah I'll be back soon bye